But these right here, this thing, these things right here, they're cone flowers. I wanted a lot more of them, but I sort of let them go, and I keep forgetting to pick these flowers and make uh, seed bombs that I can throw around um, so I can get them growing in more places. Um, the bees do like them, but the birds eat them in the winter. If I, if I don't get on them quick, the birds eat them. Um, but there's another group of irises got to be dealt with. Um, this little uh, cypress, false cypress, got to be dealt with. And that thing right there, that little green thing, that's a, uh, I forget what they're called. But I bought it sort of not knowing what it was because it was cheap. And I planted it out here, and it likes dry weather, and it's done pretty good. And I thought I had some more lilacs right there. I don't see them. Um, they were different colored. But anyhow, who knows? But that's what I'm doing. Um, I guess that's pretty much everything on the agenda. Um, I'm just going to keep whittling at this. And get another box on the bees. That last box. And then... First of July, once they start consolidating all the honey, I'll try to balance all these hives out so everybody has a chance to live. Um, I won't, I don't want to feed them sugar water if I don't have to. Um, I'd much rather them get all the honey they could possibly get, and then I'll try to balance it out so everybody's got enough. Except the two that I want to keep, they're gonna. I'm gonna make sure they, the guy on the end, and that one right there, that real tall one, because um, she's a nice queen, and that one out there is just a really good survivor. It's survived for years now, um, even though everybody else died last year. Um, and I have some empty comb that I'm gonna go put around. And then July and August, I'll probably start working on boxes. Trying to get stuff straightened around. Um, and I'm going to get another compost pile started. So, that's about it. Um, I guess. <laughs> I know in summer, spring's about over. Um, and so things quit growing so fast. Um, but otherwise, I'll be back. Alright, well, we're going to do a little weeding in here. But you can see this stuff's growing like crazy. <laughs> they have salad coming out of ears. Uh, these are little bib, bib lettuces. I mean, they're doing quite well. And I'm not sure what this stuff's called. It's pretty good. Um, but you can see all of them. I'm going to pick all the flower and stuff. That's all bolted. And we'll uh, get rid of everything. That doesn't need to be in here. And then the spaces that I open up, I'll use to plant other stuff. Um, I'm going to cover that up with more straw. I'm going to keep piling straw on it until I run out of straw. Um, needless to say. And as soon as this garlic, it should in the next couple weeks, start bending over. And I'll just pluck it all and keep the cloves that I got and I'll plant them in the fall. I'll, I'll, I'll do when I'm supposed to plant it um, but yeah lettuce wise it's doing really good I don't know what some of this stuff's called but because I forget the names of them. a lot of little flies in here I don't know what those little flies are if anybody knows what that little fly is I'm sure it's no good <laughs> I'm sure it's up to no good um, but we'll get it all weeded and get this one all weeded and then we'll move on. I, I need to start getting tomatoes in the ground. And I don't want to take those tomatoes and plant them into another planter. And then do I want to go straight from the trays into the ground. Um, but anyhow, I'll be back. All right. Well, we got it all pretty much weedy. I there's, there's a couple small ones in there. Now I get a baggie and I'm going to go through and pick everything. And then... Uh, you don't with no-till gardening you won't have this many weeds if you 
make sure you put your layer of compost in in the fall i didn't do that last year because i didn't really know what i was doing <laughs> so still learning so next year we should have a lot less weeds um because you don't till this or nothing so when you till all you do is expose new seeds um and the compost you put in you know an inch or two is been heated up so any seed is in it this is dead so um we'll do that but i'll go ahead and get this all picked i'm gonna go get some straw and cover them up i'm gonna keep covering them up until they're ready to um pick i don't know might not help might help who knows might get one potato piece off of them i don't know um, but we'll see there's, those are the little variety too. Those that's the early variety. I got some more inside. I'm going to plant, um, but I got to kill all these again. Every one that I killed grew back. <laughs> um, but they can only do that so many times, and then you know I just go through with a shovel and chop them off at the root and let them lay there, and I'll rake it all up and scrap it. But anyhow, <clears throat> I'll be back. This is why I hate the critters of the woods. These are my hard-fought sweet potatoes. And if you look, every leaf is gone. I'm not sure what it was. Um, probably a rabbit. Of course, I don't know. Ate every one of them. So I guess I'm going to have to put these up on the table. Um... Or put them up in the air somewhere. <laughs> just a, it's just so aggravating. You go to all this trouble and you think, well, it's a sweet potato. What's going to eat a potato top? Well, obviously something likes it. I don't think it's a groundhog. Um, could have been a deer. Um, but deer tend to eat hostas. And none of my hostas are gone. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to do something with them, get them up in the air, I'll put them on top of the car. Um, until they get ready to plant. And then I'll have to uh, do something to keep whatever's eating them out of them. I don't know. I'll figure it out, I guess. Or we won't have sweet potatoes, one thing or another. I'll be back. I don't know if you can see this. That's a lot of bees getting them a drink. Got all them bees on that little piece of comb. So you can see the robbing event. This is a rot can, would be considered a robbing event, and they can when they get started, they can tear up a little hive. I mean, absolutely. You don't want to do this in the fall. Right now, there's a flow going on, so most of these guys, this is just too hard to pass up. A five-gallon bucket full of sugar or honey water. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, pretty crazy. I'll be back. All right, well, here's one bag. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll count how many I get. I should have been picking this as I go, but I've just been so busy. I've always wanted to see how long one of these will last in the refrigerator um, because most of your produce, most of your produce in the country that's brought into a grocery store has been radiated. Well, it lasts in the store. You ever had a had a cauliflower you put in your crisper and it stayed in there for two months and nothing happened to it? Well, they radiate it. So I'm going to put this in my refrigerator. I'm going to put a bunch of them in my refrigerator and see how long they last. But I'll eat it too, but you know what I mean. I'll be back. Right, well, all the chickens came out today having themselves a salad. <laughs> Isn't that right, Junior? Huh? Junior! I tell you, that rooster, he's one-minded. Isn't that right, guys? Huh? Try not to get killed by nothing. The other rooster, he's hiding from Junior. Even though the younger rooster's... <laughs> even though the younger rooster's bigger than Junior now. And he's got some spurs, so... Um, I think Junior might be... I wouldn't want him to get into a fight, though. But anyhow, back to picking salad.
They're really working at it. There's a bunch of them in there. I'm not even sure how full the bucket is anymore. You'd be surprised how fast they can take a five gallon bucket down.